are the proud hills of the state of Virginia in the springtime of 1956. Springtime, beckoning to a small boy, urging him to wander with the wind, to the farm perhaps, over the pasture fence to catch a calf. Not an easy thing, because after all, a calf's a youngster like himself. Ride him? Sure. Well, what's a day without a little rough and tumble? When a boy needs comfort, there's always home and mother and father. This is the world of Randy Kerr of Oakton, Virginia. Typical, except for one thing. Randy was the first child to receive an injection of salt polio vaccine in the field trials in 1954. Much, however, had preceded this moment when Randy Kerr made history. In the all-out fight against polio led by the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis, there were many years of struggle and heartbreak. Parents lived in fear of polio's sudden attack and the tragic aftermath. Thousands upon thousands of children and adults fell prey to the crippler. March of Dimes funds were needed everywhere, needed desperately by patients, needed by an army of scientists who searched for a preventive. Then in 1954, a vaccine to prevent paralytic polio developed by Dr. Jonas Salk, a grantee of the National Foundation, was tested in the largest field trials in medical history. Finally, April 12, 1955, Salk vaccine safe, effective. The next challenge, commercial production of the polio vaccine in quantity. A huge task, a complex process, all detailed in this book. It's officially called a protocol. Here, the manufacturer records every step in the production of one lot of vaccine. The first requirement, trained scientists and technicians. Their every action is important, starting with the scrub up. And the equipment they use gets its scrub up too. A scalding steam bath for 15 minutes. When it comes out, it's completely sterilized, ready for the big job ahead. Vital to the production of the vaccine are monkeys from the Far East, given the best of care. Meanwhile, another basic ingredient of the polio vaccine is being prepared, a rich, nourishing liquid called medium-199. Some 68 different elements go into medium-199. Each is carefully checked, weighed, and combined according to the formula. And when all is thoroughly blended, the medium is tested for absolute sterility. Why this elaborate preparation? Into medium 199 will go monkey kidney tissue, first carefully minced by hand. In these bottles, the monkey kidney tissue grows, getting its nourishment from the rich medium 199. For six days, the bottles rock and the tissue grows. Then, because all the nourishment in the medium is exhausted, half is siphoned off to be replaced by fresh medium, but with a difference. The difference, a big one, is that here, for the first time, live poliovirus is planted in the medium. Three different strains of poliovirus are added. The completed vaccine will protect against all three types of paralytic polio. And once more, the bottles rock. In four days, the virus, so minute yet so lethal, multiplies 250 to 1,000 times. Another stage in the complex production of vaccine has been reached. The polio virus solution is ready for harvesting. The endless testing has now begun. A titration test. It measures the amount of live virus present in the solution. This test is made seven different times during production. Next, filtration, a vitally important process. First, the virus solution goes through these metal tubes containing porcelain filters. Then, through sheets of asbestos, to strain out all kidney tissue and remove any stray bacteria. 
more tests. Rabbits are inoculated to make sure that no bee virus, a dangerous but non-polio virus, is in the solutions. Guinea pigs, too, receive injections to make certain that the solutions are free of tuberculosis bacilli. Finally, the climax of production, inactivation. The power of the polio virus to infect man will be utterly destroyed. The colorless pungent chemical formaldehyde will deal the deadly blow to the polio virus. For 66 hours, in a warm incubator room, the inactivation process continues. Then what remains can only do good, provide humans with protection from paralytic polio. A chapter ends. The enemy of man is now ready to become his servant. At every step of the way, checks and double checks. This technician is working on a tissue culture safety test. Double check on the complete inactivation of the virus. Four such tissue culture tests are conducted on every batch of vaccine. Behind this door, the final phase of production. It calls for a giant tank. Into it will go the three types of inactivated poliovirus solution, combined here for the first time. The solutions are first filtered on the way into the pooling tank and twice later. Additional chemicals complete and preserve the vaccine. Then the preparation is mixed for five hours. At the end of that time, the poliomyelitis vaccine is complete, but testing is not. Two animal tests are performed. One, on white mice injected with vaccine, is called the LCM test. 